So that would give you access to volunteers that would use a chainsaw but get certified. Mm -hmm. Those would probably be the, be the people you want mm -hmm. signing that sheet. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I like it because it takes uh, it takes concrete nuts and bolts action rather than a whole bunch of um, words that absolve people of responsibility. You know, yeah. it, it just uh, addresses the issues right at ground level. I, I think that that's uh, very nice. I think we know that the tree would go practice with it, Jeff. <laughs> Were there a tree over there we can go practice with? Like the volunteers? <laughs> have a class? No, I, I don't think we're going to be teaching the sun. a fellow. No, 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 no. no. Take one out here and just cut it down. Just an idea. Right? Oh, yeah, this looks like, I mean, like, a personal no, opinion. Is it just like a, a one page thing? This looks like they, they acknowledge that there's a policy and this is it. But I think if we're going to have volunteers who work with chainsaws and God knows what they're going to we don't have more specifics as in a, you know, like a, a checkoff sheet, you know, make sure they have, you know, ear protection, mm -hmm. eye protection, That's right. chaps, yep. gloves, you know, that kind of stuff. So we That's need, what the roster will have. Yeah, probably, the roster probably will have. for the job. Exactly. Yeah. 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 You don't want somebody out there in sandals. Have everything else in shorts. Sure. You got all the gear yeah. but sandals. Yeah, like what you're doing. Open to shoes. Like yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not that I would do that. I <laughs> Really? Well, I wear my shorts with my chaps. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. No, I think no. that's fine. This is should have steel toe shoes. I don't have those. No, I've been through the, you know, the forestry chainsaw class for the UNH Woods Home. Would it be easier to design a roster that people are signed up on with those specifics? Because you wouldn't ask someone who's going to be working in the ball field, breaking right. leaves, to wear you know, protection glasses, ears, hat, gloves. Maybe we can have a second equipment list, you know, for, for this job title, you know. Right. Yeah. Chainsaw operator, you know, list of what that wood, person yeah, is. Wood, you know, wood, you know, yeah, wood splitter this, handler this, right. you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, um, yeah. Like stacker. Yeah, stacker. Just kind of talking out loud myself, thank you. I mean, I can see this policy here as is, you know, you don't even need to have our signature on it, but just for them to do it, it's like a, you know, that they, Knowledge and there's a policy, but maybe we ought to write. You know, we do this like in the, the DOT and other state agencies. You'll have the department policy for whatever it might be. You know, let's say um, fuel card purchases, because I know we have one. And then they'll have an employee policy for that same purpose because it's specific to the employees. And you know, I'm doing this and I'm responsible for this. But the department one is going to be like a town wide one that has a whole kit and caboodle in here, almost kind of like what this would be. So it'd be two policies, but one is related to the other. And in this one, you'd have those checklists of you know what the tire and the jobs and stuff. So and it just spells it out. So and I think that the, if you I'm if, just thinking about it. We don't. I'm married to it. This this gentleman Phil from Premix emphasized the roster. He said what he would like to see is that individuals mm -hmm. sign a roster, and the roster is specific to their duties. Right. So if you had a roster with four different mm -hmm. items. You're allowed to stack wood. You're allowed to split wood. Mm -hmm. You're allowed to hold a chainsaw. Then Absolutely. you can have them checked off, mm -hmm. dated even, mm -hmm. so that and and then inspect the you know have a, a like a paragraph of what's expected for proper tire. Yep. Um, <coughs> and, well, and these guys, okay, and these guys won't you let them help build the policy and craft what they want. That's what I was just uh, thinking, because yeah. at, at first I was thinking, you know, yeah, one's sure, so um, maybe you have it. Maybe we have it. We who brought up the idea a policy. could uh, take on bringing up a policy or whatnot, but uh, frankly, I think this is a much better start because they have experience more so than us. Uh, yeah. So, uh, well, instead of him telling us, well, this is what I'd like you to have, well, then put it together since we're paying you anyway. Just a thought. Yeah, but 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 at, at a minimum, get get their input. Yep. Okay, first. Well, uh, the town attorney have any say on this? I didn't check with the town. I wanted to get the pop, this information first okay. before I yeah. went and spent additional funds. Yeah. Well, this well, is I didn't know if you had an office. No. That's fine. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, um, qu question. Just mm -hmm. a uh, couple, couple, couple to come up. Uh, uh, um, 
last last time, you know, uh, was was uh, speaking as uh, part part of the tra transition stream, you know, and and we were looking at getting a five hundred one three C or C three as if we would be handled, right? And that that uh, that covers the finding finance and whatnot, and any money that has to be transferred to the right work. Well, we're talking about the 5013 CSOs. We're already on profit. And yeah. so, what I am seeing basically is that for this, there there is no need for the 501 C3. Well, is the tra is the transition a um, are they a town committee? No, no, they're not. So no. do they need to be? Well, you know, we do it just as volunteers. The town is in the trip. People may be members of the transition, but they're not necessarily you know, transition time. Um, they may not be <coughs> members of the transmission, transition time, yeah. yeah. but they are volunteers. The, uh, yeah, the, the, um, the old, uh, old home day uh, committee, committee, committee could be uh, one model kind of thing where, where transitions stays as 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 ad hoc, but we said we can um, can we get the old home day committee going because we don't want to see that uh, cancel or whatnot. Um, will you appoint that uh, committee and then we will step in, right? But mm -hmm. but it is a town committee. Old home day? Yeah. Yeah, you guys were reappointed. Yeah. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I'm saying. I'm saying when we first back back in early uh, 14, I think it was, found out that mm -hmm. old home day, the the uh, the people, pe people, people, people who 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 had been running it, we uh, found out that in March of that year that they they, they said they just don't have the resources. That's what I was working with you know, Right, and months. and we said we're all about community and this is a community thing, so. <laughs> Rather than us taking it on as an organization, we uh, brought, brought the idea and, and said, can you appoint mm -hmm. this group of people to an official town committee as a mm -hmm. yeah. And we will jump in and step it and get it rolling. So this, I think, um, this this year will I mean, uh, be a, a town <coughs> thing. Right. Uh, be a volunteer for the town. Yeah, volunteer for the right. Yeah, you are you are committee members, but you may say, uh, like myself, I'll say, John, I'm going to be there on Old Home Day. What do you want me to do? Right. Granted, I'm an employee, but if right. I want to volunteer the day of, but not be involved with planning, yeah. I would sign up one of these things. Yeah. yeah. That's where you ha usually have like six, seven, eight, twelve shirts walking around that probably weren't involved with the planning, but they're right. volunteering for that day. Yeah. Well, like with the wood thing, I mean, I, mean, I, I can bring my chainsaw over and cut some wood up for you, you know, but I'm not part of the transition school. Right. Well, I'm, yeah. you know, we see uh, the um, <laughs> uh, um, I'm talking, talk, talking, um, talking more about the, uh oh, <coughs> a word that's, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's close, but not what I mm -hmm. really, really want is like, Ownership of the effort or management of the effort, whatnot. If it's a, um, mm -hmm. if it's done under the auspices of the town, then the town has complete control. Mm -hmm. Whether that needs another committee, I'm not so sure. Right? Because we've got a lot. I don't of think the town needs to take control. Mm -hmm. well, let let the transition really manage it and do the volunteers. Well, it's right. a partnership. Yeah. Well, right. 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 But. But uh, somewhere, because the town of church involved, they have to understand that this is a town function. Right, well, town insurance is involved because it's on town property. Exactly. It's what we are proposing. Yeah, right. Right. So that's where it really, the umbrella. I mean, I think it's, I mean, it, it, it could be wrong, and I've been wrong before, and I'll be wrong again in the future, I'm sure. But I, I foresee that it's like a partnership, you know, whether it's transitions or a group of volunteers that may not be all on town, the transition committee. In the town, when we're working together, you know, like that private public partnership, right. using town resources, i.e., the town property and all that stuff, and yeah. not being covered by the town insurance mm -hmm. or potential liabilities. But you guys are the ones taking care of it, you know, and managing it, you know, as in who's going to be doing 
the chainsaw and the stacking and splitting and all this kind of stuff. And working Fine. through the, the, yeah. the town um, welfare director as in how the wood gets distributed to the people who need. Right. What? what? <coughs> so, I mean, I don't know if you know the committee for that. I mean, you already have a, a group of volunteers. I don't think we do. No, I think they were. I mean, as long as you just keep us in the loop so we know, you know. Because yeah. even, even here it says, it says uh, recruitment and training, volunteers shall work under the direction of the town. If it's selected right. directing mm -hmm. the transition yeah. to work with these volunteers, and this is what you're going to set for guidelines, I think we've got to come. Yeah, and, 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 and that's why why I uh, brought up brought up the uh, group, <coughs> group of the 501 mm -hmm. thing because that, that was that was something we were thinking we would do if we were in charge mm -hmm. but it turns out that that's not going to be that way great just something like that just uh, 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 somebody in transition will ask that I uh, mm -hmm. just uh, felt that we, we uh, should have an answer mm -hmm. and, and think we're all solid I don't you know, I was going to say, if you develop a form that identifies the task, chainsaw, right. wood splitting, or whatever, you develop what those issues are going to be involved with, and then develop a personal protection plan to identify those, I think that helps everything. It makes it all clear to everyone, and I think that uh, form for the volunteers uh, is adequate to help out as far as the wood bank. But, you know, without this describing what the work involves, mm -hmm. makes it kind of tough for, even if someone took a chainsaw course for a day and yeah. then went in to cut wood, you know, they want to know what's expected. You know, again, right. I believe work conditions, if, if you're cutting wood, you don't want someone around you. Mm -hmm. right? Unless you want to pick up arms and legs. Or yeah. <laughs> you know, have you guys um, talked with um, the welfare director at all yet to find out what the process might be for, uh, you know, someone getting a cord or whatever? Me personally, but I think one of them did, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I, I uh, don't have a uh, clear. All right. Yeah. But you probably have to start bringing it up to the Yeah, I'm just thinking you start, need to start to do that. Yeah, yeah. Our, our uh, thought was uh, kind of, is this going to become real? If it is going to become real, then we can bother the. Uh, yeah, it's pretty real. To I'll me. send you a report if you contact. Great. Yeah. Uh, you still have to move that wood, correct? Huh? You have to move that wood, correct? Right. How soon do you have to move that wood? Uh, within a month. We're not going to be. I mean, because we meet every other week, and I know it's like there's still some work to be done on this. I mean, as far as putting together, you know, a health and safety plan, your job right. description, like Bob was talking about, that kind of stuff. I mean, I'd like to see those kind of documents before we, you know, really jump into the volunteers actually doing something. Right, right. right. My, uh, but my question, I guess, was more to these gentlemen. Do you guys feel well, that if they pull the wood there and store I was going to say, uh, if yeah. they put the wood there, it has yeah. no effect other than no. they're leaving the wood there until yeah. they have everything developed. So yeah. that yeah. eliminates yeah. having yeah. something out in yeah. the field that's yeah. in the state. Yeah, I was going to say, just, you know, if you get the wood moved and stacked mm -hmm. and just left alone until we get all these other pieces in place, mm -hmm. then, that's exactly then I what say we fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and can I ask, what I this point? Yeah. can you give me a list of who's going to be doing it? That way yeah. we'll start the roster. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, sure. yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, absolutely. I want yeah. a list of names so that yeah. way if I, if, oh, and I that, that list can be given to the transfer station department because they're going to observe this right. and they, that way they won't see Mr. Smith going down there and saying, oh, they're supposed to be delivering this when he's not supposed to be near it. Or, right. You know, just right. Don't well, want to get out of control. People aren't going to show up at random times to do work. It's going to be right. planned ahead That's of time. That's right. Time. That's right. You're not know, just going to show up on Saturday morning with a chainsaw and have that. But but that is uh, 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 if if that isn't <coughs> is not a um, a policy or a rule, people do do that. That's that is all part of yeah. And say that and keeping yeah, the I situation. And, I, and I'm pretty sure that one over there in Hawkington, I think they have a day where they you know go do it. Right. Exactly. Yeah. We we uh, that, that that's Mary. She and uh, Woody and I met all, yeah. all over at the transfer station. Well, I know I've read it in the newspaper when they do it. They usually do it in November. They get together one day right. and, and have at it. And, and we did about an hour. Uh, 
speaking to her, walking around, yeah. and we're, we're learning everything. Yeah, I, I would rather see an organized day, not just mm -hmm. you know, showing up on any yes. time. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. otherwise you lose uh, control, you wind up with maybe not enough or too many work. Or you end up with a missing work area, area too, because right. people are just dropping what they're doing. Just yeah. think on, uh, off the top of my head there, just, you know, you're going to put wood out there and whatnot, and you want to keep things segregated of sorts, because they say, you know, Joe Blow can just, just drive up there and start taking wood away instead of right. Um, unless there's a need for a more secure fence. I mean, how about we get like a roll of snow fence and stake it out and, you know, with the snow fence around that area? That's something you can get for us too. Well, you're going to put signage up, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Sign too, but and, I mean, and, just uh, some uh, snow fence. Hop can do, hop can do, hop can do just yeah, I mean, has that stack there. Yeah. Because yeah. so you want to, we got a couple of lot pieces left. Because you want to have it so it's accessible so that if a tree company wants to come and deliver, right. well, so that they can get in there okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, just stack I would say go without the fence for now. I'll see what happens. That's fine. And yeah, then yeah. if we have to adjust, we do. Okay. Um, one other uh, thought thought that uh, that uh, that uh, sprang up what when when I uh, mentioned mentioned uh, in, interviewing Mary, you know, mm -hmm. was um, she and a, and a few other people, but 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 she brought it up mostly. If we could name it, the kids do yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, time comes that we're ready to just to proceed. I mean, right now we're still preliminary. In my opinion. Right. I mean, unless you don't want to take a jump from the gun sooner than later, I, mean, I think once we get all the stuff, you know, documents ready and everything, and we're comfortable with everything, then yeah. I think we can. We'll have a big unveiling. Yeah. Right. right but we'll have a ribbon ceremony cutting with a chainsaw. Very good. Very good. Good point. Put it this, John. Yeah. Put it this way, you have a lot of warm weather ahead of you, yep. but you have time to develop yeah. the pieces of the policy you right. want. Yeah. Uh, at the same time, you know, you'll be able to figure out what you have for volunteers, mm -hmm. so you work in a controlled mm -hmm. environment. You know that this is the day we're going to go and cut the stack wood, and mm -hmm. you know this way you're ready for the fall, and you can work with the welfare mm -hmm. room. Person at the same time, and if, if it's if it's named, uh, you, you I think sort of pick, picked up on it a little bit. There was that if, if it's named, it makes it a little more formal. It makes it easier to get volunteers. Yep. It's just uh, you know, communication thing. Yes. The day and those things. Huh? The day and all the. Oh, that when, when you the work schedule. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, yeah, yeah, Be, because. Because it is run under the auspices of the town. I would work in so the, the town the is in control. Yeah. Well, I mean, okay. if you're going to move that wood within a month, I mean, you know. That would too, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. 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 Right now, I think yeah. those yeah. dumpsters are all stacked up in that area that we're talking about, too, for the one. Uh, right. stacking the wood. I think that we were last time I was there. Okay. Uh, you, walked up, you walked around with Woody. Over on the right hand side, as you're looking, weren't the dumpsters still all lined up there, or they moved? I think it's through there. They, there are uh, two, two that are there in line down yeah. in, in, in uh, a little. But little you're going beyond that. Right. We are out back. Uh, uh, one, uh, when you're looking straight down the um, tr transfer station area, okay. Mm -hmm. um, this, this will be uh, be to the uh, right. Of those two dumpsters, oh, it is okay. Be there, and then also further on down. All right. So, so, so the um, I'll have to look at it when I go to the transfer station this week, and I'll take a look. Right. I I I, uh, I did a picture in and yeah. emailed it that, that yep. outlined that it. area. Okay, good. Because um, the area, the area, the area, the area further uh, further back can can be the Rock off area because yeah. you get a piece of fish equipment in there and just dump stuff yeah. out and you're all set. Cool. And then also, Woody, Woody had mentioned um, getting rid of the burn pile. And we, yeah. I don't know whether that is technically part of this, but, but while we're in the middle of things, because um, that is labor intensive, it's also setting a large fire. And, that's a problem because uh, 
labor and the size of the fire department as a fire sailor again. Yeah. And, um, and, and he also mentioned then the existing burn pile enclosure and making that a com 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 uh, compost enclosure. This town is 90% forest for crying out loud. People want some brush put it in the back of the corner of the woods where they can't see it in the property. And the That's the same thing I do, but I know <coughs> when when I was uh, working working on my uh, mother's mother's house up in uh, up in Tokyo, getting, getting ready to sell. Yeah, in the middle of the city up there. I had to cut down a tree. And I, I just threw old pieces in the back of my pickup that I had at the time, and I drove up there, and I was able to, by, uh, 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 able to leave it all there, be, because they, get, they said, over the size there, under that size there, and brush there. It was just a very, very nice, handy, handy service for people who I think you're on the road here. Yeah. Is yeah. that the wood across the street from me? Huh? Is that the wood you got across the street from me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She's yeah. getting ready to sell the house. Yeah. Right. And and the uh, the uh, the larger pieces, the uh, trunk. Mm -hmm. uh, I I think I mentioned man, man, <coughs> that those those are going elsewhere to be sawed into two inch two inch uh, thick things and finished and turned into tables as as a suggestion. What? I make a suggestion. Yeah. Maybe you can take one of those two inch thick slabs that you're cutting and maybe someone can sand it down and, and clear cut it and maybe start, you know, as a project count for the rings. school, put it in the lobby of the school and count rings and they can do it like like a timeline. Yeah, Dunlop yeah. well, the history, history of Dunlop. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. And add little, uh, little mm -hmm. kids. Yeah, we make a little like you know, framework for it so it sits there so it's solid so it ain't right. falling on any of the kids. But that way, you know, they walk in the lobby and here's this big piece of maple, you know, and here's all the rings and, you know, hey, oh, this is one, you know, World War One it. started. Yeah. Here's one Civil War the outside started. And in. Even this is where man was born. <laughs> Yeah, the yeah. center. Just cut me in half. Put me in the I water. Could, no, well, you're, you're, you're right. right there between the center of the tree. <laughs> that's that right that's something you're going to have to present oh, if you're a to the school boy. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to touch the the school board, but I mean, that's just a yeah. suggestion. Or give it to one of their volunteers. Yeah. They can right. handle it. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So, uh, yeah. So, not much interest in the wood bank. Huh? Not much interest in the wood bank. <laughs> well, <laughs> we have to get it rolling. Interest in it from May. Huh? Interest. No interest. Yeah. interest. Yeah. 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 It's going to be here all week. Hey, yeah. you know, I live across the street from that wood. And I remember there was a pretty big hubbub about that wood about six months ago. Oh, yeah. So Those we joke months. about it in our so, house. So, oh, yeah. look at the wood bank. No, it doesn't seem to be much interest in it. <laughs> it's not, no, not no, growing. It just doesn't move. Yeah. It's not growing. The only guy I saw there was a drumstick. Yeah, but see, no one burns pieces that long. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. That big around. No, we uh, took care of something that, that there was some feeling mm -hmm. generated about and in true crazy fashion trying to turn it into something that was, uh, yeah. you know. I think you make a point calling it the Jim Stone Wood Bank, mm -hmm. attracting interest in getting yep. extra yeah. volunteers mm -hmm. to go out. Yeah, it probably never <laughs> would, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also just something mm -hmm. in Jim's own memory. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's for the insurance company didn't say, like, well, all the time off, no way. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. I mean, no, they're not in the way. So it's good. They get potential. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that I was. I was yeah. Yeah. Sure. The yeah. documentation gives them a little Yeah. Yeah. We just got to make sure we cover our flights. Interested in bouncing houses, but they do. Yeah, interesting, huh? Yeah. Well, that's that's something that we've heard before. Yeah, yeah I, I haven't heard back. Yeah. Anything else, Yes. Yes. Um, old home day today. I was wondering if you were going to say anything about this. Well, yes. As you know, So I kind of figured 
this happened, so I asked if it was on the outside. It was. <coughs> Nancy was an advent, uh, had a lot of interest in the old home day committee. She was very mm -hmm. involved. Yeah. And um, I think Mark's expressed that mm -hmm. uh, he'd like to promises as it was two weeks ago, but don't worry about that, I'll take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> that now falls on me. <laughs> I talked to Mark and he has a lot of enthusiasm about getting things done, so yeah. I mean, yeah. I'd make a motion that we put him on the committee. I'll second that. Any discussion? Welcome to the board, Mark, thank you very much. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So the you next step here board. is Linda, she yeah. should write the slip. Well, then he'll then have to sign it. He'll right. sign it the next and meeting. Then, meeting. And then, yeah. um, Don't let stop it. He can tomorrow. attend Going the meeting. Forward. We have one between now and next yeah. when, and yeah. two Wednesdays, or yeah. Thursdays. Yeah. Uh, he just can't vote or act on anything. Right. But. Yep. Yeah. The, uh, it's it's uh, coming up quickly, though, so the sooner that no. Mark is the sole member, it yeah. would be very good. We'll probably yeah. some yeah. yeah. He's with personally, yeah. I mean, because a piece of paper doesn't make a difference. Okay. So then, just a yeah. Pointed here. Motion. It's a motion. So it's a legal motion of the board. I yeah. mean, it's just a piece of paper, uh, just to get signatures. That's about it. Formality. Yeah. I mean, it's not like he's going he's holding office for you know, the president. Yeah. Actually, you want to run for president? I'd have some other person to vote for. <laughs> 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 uh, Just uh, thoughts, I think, was uh, mentioned on the uh, light at the, uh, the, the uh, center last time mm -hmm. you walked out that, that, that bar door down. Um, oh, speaking of that, yeah, I was here for actually, I was meeting, I met with Mark and your in laws here, and I stayed and I signed checks and took care of all the stuff. I counted it was darker than this in the light. I walked out that door and I came, I probably... What door? The far one. Far and I walked right along parallel with the front of the building here. I mean, probably five or six feet off the edge of the building, mm -hmm. right by the trees. And I got past this last tree here, and I mean, I was just about right where that upper, um, the separation between these two windows before that thing, the motion sounds like even caught me. And that's, I, I just, uh, I. I mean, so I even stood right at that door over there, like, you know, walked out that door and, like, waved my hands and yeah, yeah. nothing. That emotion sensor is, its sensitivity is horrible. Uh, um, somebody smaller than you walked out, out that door, got mm -hmm. around four or so feet um, out from mm -hmm. on, 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 under, under the roof and picked her up. Mm -hmm. I mean, I saw the light, the, the red LEDs there were flashing. They started flashing on it, but again, turn the light on. Well, one issue further, further <coughs> on, on that door down there mm -hmm. is there's a tree. Right. Well, I know it probably wouldn't pick me up all the way down there, but I mean, I was walking right, let's say parallel with the right. front of the building. I would have thought it would pick me up at least by the time I got by the front, the second door here, closest yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, is that because of the lilac bush that was there? I was, I was in plain sight. There was no tree. I mean, once I got past that, last tree here. I mean, not past the trees, there's nothing there. Yeah, I mean, you got was, a line of sight on I mean, Exactly. I mean, I can well. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, um, so, I don't know if the sensitivity needs to be turned up or the, you know, the range needs to be tweaked or something, but. I will My experience with motion sensors is that they require tuning. Yeah. yeah. And um, when it starts to get dark a little bit earlier, it would be a better time to try to start to Oh yeah, I mean, you're right now it's not yeah. that bad. It's uh, not not a uh, complete or dead issue again in my, in my mind. It's just uh, waiting for the right time to actually be able to analyze what it's doing yeah. solidly and then say, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sign updated emergency management plan acknowledgement page. That's this. Yeah, yes. quite a few copies. <clears throat> we recently made. They have to adopt it, too. Nope. 
Well, the ones that have it adopted, but we're not going to stay. Because it's not, it's not changing. John's John's plan allows for Chris to adopt a Marcy Operations Plan for Town Dunbar and Hampshire Day Dunbar. The Hampshire Marcy Operations Plan is adopted effective this day, the blank of blank 2016. <coughs> Is that to acknowledge that you know of the amendment? I guess. Sign up, That would be my guess. This is an annual kind of thing, right? Most of it. Yeah. So what have we the done? So what's happened in the past that we had a motion to do? <coughs> we haven't done it since 2008. Okay. So it's annual. 2010, actually. Well, then I will make it. It was adopted in 2008. It was revised in Singapore in 2008. And I think that was the last time. Right, guys. Yeah. 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 Actually, we'll make a motion that we adopt the update, updated statement of promulgation um, of the emergency operation plan for Town of Dunbarton this day. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, effective this day, 14 of July. Yeah, one of those things you just write to see the job for it. Yeah. Your phone doesn't do that for you. Right. Right. Your phone doesn't do that. No, no, not yet. Not yet. You can do what part of signatures though. Yeah. All right, there we go. Sanchez of the Dunbar Emergency Operations Plan. All right, we got all these to do too, so I'm Oh, I just, John Wigan had to sign with five of us. <laughs> yeah. uh, we need two additional, we put together uh, two additional binders so that the town clerk can have uh, uh, an official record. Uh, you guys don't sign this one. You do though. I have to sign it. Yeah. Well, what is just Three places. No, <laughs> just emergency operations plan. Oh, okay. It's just basically updating the signatures. Yeah. That's all right, well, you have to sign it too. Get the signatures that we can while we can, yeah. and John can have fun with it all together. Well, there's a, I've got a question. Does John have a cast? He looks at all these signatures. He must have oh. right his print. <laughs> I thought he took an injury. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, each page, I mean, he's got one in these, and there's another five on this page, and it's like four or five pages to each one. Oh, man. Type. We can print it for you. You can sign it, we'll print it. I'll let you know where you print it. Print type. But yeah, your name's right there. It's already printed in type. Okay. We filled them in this time. It's oh, easy I just to make. It's easy to sign. We're supposed to I'll print it. I bought it. What? Sign. Okay. I'm good. Anything else? Uh, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> uh, annual concurrence. This page will be screened out by the new government party. Nice, the first organizational meeting. Well, we should have done this back in March. Meeting was improved. Um, what doctor? So, I paid a lot of money for this pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of money. 14 July. Uh, Is that the same thing? Yeah. It was great. Yeah, there you go. In the last. This is the one where the wife went down the stairs in the wheelchair. <laughs> well, I paid a lot for this pen. Of course, he doesn't tell you that he's going to push her down the stairs. I'm just trying to that on tape. Yeah, to the water witnesses. Mm. Jeff, it was, a, it was a good plan. It just wasn't executed very well. I don't see it. Best laid plans of mice and men. Launched her in the pages of the wazoo here, so I don't 
them with Joel mm -hmm. and he basically said um, the, when you look at the plans it looks like the steel plates have to be installed inside the foyer mm -hmm. that would mean major renovations of right. the tin ceiling and whatnot um, and it's, with that information not knowing mm -hmm. um, I asked him the question is it inside or outside and right. then I said can't if it's inside can one be done this year and then the other one you know the mm -hmm. roof attic um, this year and followed by the following year mm -hmm. for the um, I guess they're called um, steel mm -hmm. plates places. whatever um, and then in his description he says that there's angled rafters that have to be notched out mm -hmm. and braced um, the individual looking at it was not recommending that mm -hmm. procedure <coughs> and then he just responded that um not knowing what the winter would hold for us, he can't say yes or no, rather, and he would prefer that we did both the steel plate install and the roof install. Mm -hmm. There's no guarantees. Um, and then, um, you could do one without the other and have a heavy winter and something. Yeah, for right. right. These guys right. Yeah. Should have done both, you yeah. know. He said, and he, as far as the notches of the, the members, he mm -hmm. said it's permitted. Um, to an extent, but not recommended, and, and that um, he understands his specific concerns, and he would be willing to talk to them. Mm -hmm. and then, he, when looking at the plans, he said that the plan drawings were still a little needed some clarification. So, if, they, if I gathered mm -hmm. more questions, he would revise the plans to be a little bit clearer. Mm -hmm. um, on the other hand, too, I have sent this out to a number of different contractors and. I've got one that's booked and at the end of October and hasn't even looked at it. Mm -hmm. um, I've contacted um, Keith St. Pierre. He returned them and said that it's yeah. it's too uh, complicated with the steel and it looks like it could be very uh, detailed once you open it up. Um, the one person that said made some of these comments said that he would take take it one step further and stop by tomorrow. He's been straight out busy and hasn't been able to come into town. He's been working in Massachusetts. But um, it's, it's a matter of getting up there and measuring whether the beams that he's saying that can be installed in two pieces will fit through the mm -hmm. attic for the, the opening. And yeah. um, if, in fact, what he is saying that's drawn on the plans is can be done on the outside because the way he read it, mm -hmm. it looks like it's something that has to be gussied up on the inside. Um, there is a bore that's been drilled on the outside of the siding, so that might be a way that you can look at that beam, that two by six. That's oh, that's for the header. The header, the header, yeah, with this steel plate. And if you could see it through that, if you can see it through that hole, then he might agree that it can be done from the outside. But it, the combination of the two mm -hmm. projects is going to be very expensive. 
and I did send out an email to Jeff asking him for a list of qualified um, contractors because this doesn't seem to be very much interest here. I called him and I said I was going to bring it up tonight just to discuss it. He mentioned he was going to be out of town. This is a long vacation. Yeah, and I haven't um, heard back from him as far as other qualified builders. So we're in a, a tough situation. I don't well, know Joel, if you know any, I mean, contractors, I mean, this, uh, so he's, he's on our dime. Yeah. I mean, kind of like Tepe, you know, he's also on our dime for the roof. Maybe he might know some people that would be yeah. sent with, you know, set up a plant and say, hey, you know anybody that can do this work? And I don't know, what do you guys think? You know, it's just yeah, that's the yeah, yeah, yeah. path I would take, I think. You're going to have to shake the trees a little bit and get somebody, because yeah. everybody's busy right yeah. now. Yeah, and I think ones that it sounds like they qualified uh, like you said they're extremely busy mm -hmm. no. I have not reached out to Paul yet because I wanted to try to get more information about where we stood with this um, even getting close to some kind of a quote. I'm sure that's something that he's not even probably capable of doing on our own. Group or no he said he, there, I've already asked him okay. if he had a group of people that could do the mm -hmm. um, engineering part he said no that's mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you do have to do that work. I mean, it's not just one engineer that's looked at it. You had yeah. two. And even though I kind of I, I kind of side with the fact that engineers over look at things. They look too, uh, you know, over -engineered. too many problems. Uh, Over-engineered. And a mechanic, mm -hmm. uh, construction worker, mechanic, can go in and probably make modifications and, they would approve without that, you know, and not doing that, I think, not doing the town justice. Yeah. Uh, number one, it was built in 1909, and that yeah. structure's completely different now. There might have been pieces that have moved, you know, so I, yeah. you know, I would hate to see someone put a roof on it and have it come down, yeah. number one. I'm sure. And I'm sure that the person putting on the roof just wants to get the roof down. He does, he's not worried about that, but if you put it in the in place where, okay, you can do the roof, but if it comes down, it's on your dime, I'm sure they'd say, hey, I don't want any part of that. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, I would reach out to you know those two guys and see if they can give us a list and, mm -hmm. I don't know, keep hammering away at it, but you was... I mean, on the contractor that you might have tired to talk to, they might know some other people that you haven't touched base with and say, hey, you know, I mean, yeah, they may be a competition with the folks, but I mean, you know, it's a... Yeah, I did ask a couple of them if they knew of anyone mm -hmm. that would be available that might be mm -hmm. qualified to do it. Mm -hmm. um, Are all those drawings and things available on our web page? Right now, I have not posted on Hot no. Topics or our web page, because mm -hmm. I'm not sure what that's going to bring as yep. far as... Yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm. You know, the municipal association might be able to help us out with that too. I mean, area of contracting, so they might know some kind of a list of contractors. Or something. I don't know. It's sign up the Angie's list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I, mean, I know they usually think about you know, you know, having contracts out on their page and stuff, you know, bids and such. I don't know. They might have a list of people. I don't know. Just, yeah. you know, worth a shot asking them. If they don't know, then. Convention on the game. Yeah, there was a builder's truck in the driveway earlier today. Christian. Yeah, so I Well, he came in to see you. Must right? be a town guy. Yeah. No? Mm -hmm. I believe he lives down in Warm hmm? I think he lives down in Warm Pond. He wasn't here to serve you. Yeah, black truck. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. What he, was his name again? I think the you know, side it was Christian tile and carpentry or something. Is that what it is? Yeah. Or construction. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's tile and carpentry. But, I mean, but if he's just a residential type person, no, I don't know. Yeah. I've seen this pick up and go and drive. What's your idea, one? roughly? I uh, know you're not an expert, one, but how long do you think the project is? Is it a week long project? 
it, it, whoever could, does it. For this particular thing with the yeah. town hall yeah. group? No, I was told two people, two weeks, just uh, to yeah, do the frame right. on the inside, yeah. minimum. I mean, yeah, it depends on how much labor you have yeah. there. I mean, the yeah. size, but I mean, you know, a week to two. I mean, if you've got, you know, four or five, half dozen guys, you probably can knock it out in a week, I would yeah. think. But, yeah. you know, a couple of people, two probably two weeks. But there, what's up there is just a catwalk. And right. then, then you just have the beams, right. so you've got insulation. Right. So, so you don't want the, what happened here with an electrician to, walking through the ceiling. Right. Then you just want to make sure. bring some stuff up there and make their own yeah. extra yeah. blocks. Yeah. Why would it So, I, to recap, we're going to try to reach out and find more contractors that may be able to do that work and see what we get for it. Yeah. Right now, so, you thought you had a problem with the bridge? <laughs> this is the worst can of worms in the time. I would agree with you on that one. Yeah. You know, it's and unfortunate, I I, you know, and I don't think people were listening when the town hall restoration was going to do the whole thing. They talked about opening that roof and bringing in the big pieces. Yeah. So, you know, it kind of comes to your attention, but it doesn't when you're going out to get the numbers. Yeah. You know, yeah. finally you're getting numbers and you get numbers for a roof and then, oh, wait a second, we've got work that we have to do up there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.